Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Swain. It's going to be our next deck uh, that we're going to be playing through a gauntlet. It's going to be our last gauntlet deck as well. We're going to be play some um, two meme tier Monday decks after this. Our gauntlet is, is a special event where we play until we either win seven games or we lose two in a row. So, you know, it could be done right away or uh, hopefully uh, we win a bunch and we can get towards the end. This donation deck was from a viewer uh, that said that they played this through a gauntlet and got to seven wins with it. Uh, just like just like our uh, previous deck, the Heimer Puff Caps. Um, this is an Ezreal Swain deck. Um, and uh, lot, so lots of removal, um, you know, lots of burn uh, because the uh, burn spells for removal help out both Ezreal and Swain. Because to level up Ezreal, you have to target the enemy uh, Target different enemy units eight plus times, and to level up Swain, you gotta do twelve non-combat damage. So something like a Death Hand that's doing two damage to an enemy that targets that targets the enemy once for Ezreal, and it also does three total damage there for Swain. So you know, like you get level ups on both. Same like your Static Shock can level up both, and so on. So that's what our deck's all about. Um, you know, got to keep on targeting. We we also have we have the sump we have two sumpworks maps in here, which sumpworks maps is a great combo with Swain. Um, if you can give give Swain elusive, it makes it a lot easier to hit the opponent with Swain, because especially a leveled up Swain, if you nexus strike them, you're dealing three to all enemies and the enemy nexus. That's pretty amazing um, ability if you can nexus strike with Swain. So that's why we have our sumpworks maps in here to help that out. All right, uh, let's give let's give this a let's give this a try. Here we go. Let's let's go through the gauntlet with Ezreal Swain. And then our other two decks we're gonna play. We're just gonna be playing five games over a normal with a couple meme tier decks after this. Shiraza Dragon <clears throat> with getting our two double attacks and trying to to one shot one kill our opponents. And then an Ethereal Magician deck that I, that I built this morning with. Um, but, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, it's going to have like little one drops and then mystifying magician that you turn any of your units into a five cost follower, and then you use that's like turn four. Then you use a Thero remitter and you kill one of your things and summon a follower that costs two more. So then we can kill our five mana thing and uh, get a seven drop. So we can start making some seven drops with things that were just like one mana cards or spiderlings or things like that. That should be fun. We'll just kind of, you know, like that'll be fun to see what happens. All right, I'm going to get rid of the two Swains and the Progress Day for now. Uh, we want to just start, we want to start with uh, early removal, early interaction. Those cards are not that. Yeah, that's true. The pickpocket, that's a good point. We have, we have Kempunk Pickpocket in the deck, and that's a great card with some works map. <clears throat> Twisted Fate pairs with everything. Uh, sorry, Big Alfredo. Um, yeah, like you can... Every every region. That's the great part about Twisted Fate is it... Um, is it really does pair well with everything. Pair with, with Freljord. Um, yeah, there's, there's not a region that it doesn't pair well with. That was nice and efficient. And using this to, to use my mana before it goes away. So I can double Mystic Shot that. I think, I think I'm going to. This is a... So one card took two of mine and drew them two cards. Pretty insane value for this Yordle Grifter. But 
but Success. even with that being said, I think it's worth it. Hey, Xano. Fortunately, we're not really leveling up this. Like, I can't really love. I can't play Swain and some perks map the Swain and level up Swain beforehand. And I am some some perks mapping because of Fury of the North. I'm not gonna just attack in and then then they go Fury of the North, which I think was probably their plan. Yeah, unfortunately, couldn't have the leveled up Swain also. That would have been amazing to be able to do three damage there as well. Wow, they just played nothing. So, most likely... Sejuani. Good, no Sejuani? That is great. Wow. They just don't, they're just not doing anything. So playing the Blade's Edge to level up Swain. Do need one more damage. We have get excited. They can do three, so we need one more damage. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing the chump lump and then casting both mushroom clouds and hope that they draw a mushroom cloud. So we just need one damage. Yeah, Swain's level up is really satisfying. It's a, it's an awesome, uh, awesome animation too. Oh yeah, I should have used the Swain emote on, on the Pain Mystic, on nothing. the Nexus Strike. You're right. So glad that worked. I just don't challenge. I thought for sure that they had had Fury of the North and that I was going to lose this. Doesn't look like it though. 
I thought I thought we were just gonna lose that right there. The Fury of the North, that other thing, challenge here, and then that that big thing was gonna kill us. Who's on top of the bounty board today? There's the puff cap. Just wonder what my opponent had in hand. They just didn't do anything for a while. Surprised we won that. We won that so easily. In your opinion, what would you do? Get a meme champ like Teemo or get a strong champ like Swain? Um <clears throat> I would I would craft what I would I uh, would enjoy playing more. What I would have have more fun playing, um, and for me that'd be Teemo. So I'd, I'd be crafting Teemo. Like that Heimer Puff Cap deck that we just played was a real fun deck. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like those three cards. Shen Fiora. I'm gonna Mulligan Ezreal. keep these though yeah I can get you a code yeah you, you can go if you click on that that will send you to all my decks that has the Heimer puff caps but I can also head on over there and here's the code Yeah, Heimer and Lee Sin can work just fine together. We haven't no, we haven't done any meme, we haven't done our two meme meme tier Monday decks yet. Oh, that's gonna be the next two that we're gonna be doing after this. No, no problem. Here's a link to the deck. There you go. So, like, my only way to, to one for one removal is to use Get Excited, but that's not actually a one for one removal because we have to discard something. And I don't really want to just, I just don't really want to discard any of these things. The fate of mortals. Okay, well that thing's impossible to kill. Eh, I guess it's not impossible. It just takes two spells. Um, I wish we had Static Shock. We could do like one and one, and then guillotine them. Oh, well, yeah, thank you, Revan. I sense an imbalance. Welcome to the channel. Uh, let's see. Same, we're just kind of in the same boat. Um, would like to spend my mana first so I could not spend eight mana on a thermogenic beam. But I just don't really like any of these cards to play. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. 
It's a good draw. So we get stun. And now we get to Ravenous Flock. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I this will be quick. Now we thermogenic beam. Ooh, I thought that was gonna hit get barriered. That's nice. For the honor of House Laurent. For the honor of House Laurent. Well, I don't really need my second Sump Works map anymore. This play's not great against Repost. Um, not great against Unyielding Spirit either. Unyielding spirit still good. Still good. Fire! We're going to hopefully keep stunning that card. I could have just death sand after they played the war shots. I could have like death sand that. Oh no no, because I couldn't stun it because I needed Swain in play to stun it. That's right. Swain in play to stun. Let it still get stunned, right? Oh, they're just fighting. Isn't over yet. Yeah. This isn't over yet. Yeah, the elusive boat. Basically a submarine. <laughs> yeah. We went submarine. It's our elusive boat. Leviathan looks like a submarine. Could be a submarine. Ooh, got to level 13. Or no, we are, I guess we we're already at level 13. Now we got one bonus. Leviathan's good. 
<laughs> uh, Olivier? Hello, hello. GG's. Alright, see you progress day. Swain, Katarina, Yasuo. I'm keeping the pickpocket. they pass. Don't play anything, just pass. Thank you. And now they don't have anything either, and pickpocket hits them. One time. Pass. No. Alright, whatever. I guess we trade. It's a good card to trade and get off the battlefield. That was the card that I hoped they had on their two mana. You know, I, I was hoping that was going to be their two drop. Uh, I guess I could static shock that. I suppose. Make it easier to kill that thing. Get him, Chump Womp. Get him next turn, Chump Womp. No. I okay, see a Chump Womp. Yeah, the Wumps are in the deck to create the Mushroom Clouds for Ezreal, because you, you want, you know, like, whenever Ezreal levels up, you need you need a lot of spells. Um, so that's why I've got these Mushroom Clouds in here. You can be doing two damage each. Yeah, and discard fodder to get excited, that's true. Okay. Yeah, I've played chest. Yeah. Real good at chest. I'm not any kind of expert. Like I've only played it Always super casually, but I know the rules of the game. Alright, dealing with this Yasuo is going to be annoying. Eight mana. I just don't want to play an 8 damage thermogenic beam. I guess I could just play this arachnoid sentry first, just to play. To get him just to spend mana on it. It, you know, it targets, it's a target for Ezreal, so it makes Ezreal 6. And then thermogenic beam will be 7. So it'd be a good time for Ravenous Vlock.
got another deny out of their hand, I suppose. Dang. They were willing just to pass the turn. Not good. GG's. I guess I can try. Withdrawing the death sand, we can try to stay alive at one. Okay. Yes. I maybe shouldn't have said two and one yet, but we'll see. All they have to do is one damage to me. Oh, well. I'll just let him do it. Katarina's overpowered with the blade's edge. No, they had an awesome hand. They really did. From turn two on. Yeah, great, great cards. GG's. <laughs> Alright, and now Braum and Nivea. Popular attack. All right, hopefully this Kempunk pickpocket gets to strike this time. Awesome, yeah, Alfredo, you you can also, if you, you don't need to build the deck to submit. Also, if you want me to build the deck, you just give, you know, just type in as much parameters as you want, whatever the deck to look like. If you would like me to build a, uh, your deck also for a donation deck. Um, but of course you can too, so you know, it's up, it's up to you. I'm just letting you know. With donation decks, you, you can choose. Doesn't look good for the pickpocket. Strike and they had one drop, two drop. We're going to be. I'm going to cast the thermogenic beam to kill the Avaros and Sentry. Untap, have Arachnoid Sentry stun Omen Hawk and hope we get to hit. 
that way. But if we ever get to do that, opponent's playing very slow. All that stuff may never happen. Okay, I mean, you, you played this deck three times and couldn't get quite get past five wins. Yeah, I... I don't know, I'm, I'm just kind of skeptical about Ezreal decks. Start. Annoying card to, to hit two with the uh, the two two omen honk. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, you can definitely do that, Colby. So yeah, with donation decks, you could just say, you know, you said you want a misfortune builder on, just kind of say whatever cards you kind of want in the deck or what do you want the deck to look like, you know, just give me as, give me as much information to go on as you can. Or, or you can just say, hey, I, I want uh, a deck with misfortune and um, Vladimir, you know, and you can build a deck with those two. And I can go from that. This'll take the chill off. They just have a five five a three mana five five and they just didn't play, they were just gonna pass turn. Let's take this outside. Oh my gosh, this is the, the longest match ever, and we're on turn four. Don't be calling no enforcers. Will damage happen? Tune in next time to find out. Do you think opponent's doing this, like, purposely? To annoy their opponent? Why is this timer thing giving them so long, so, so much time, too? Yeah, maybe it's just connection issues. That could be that. Could be connection issues. I know, right? Dude, I... Yeah, I would insta-buy a, a Teemo Puff Cap Forest board. Like a board. There's like a Teemo Puff Cap in the forest and stuff. Something Definitely. Stirs. Endless cold. It would take me three cards to kill that Anivia. I'm just going to take the damage for now and redraw and see what else we get. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're we're gonna figure we're gonna find out if it's any good, Colby. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Uh, could be good. Maybe not. So Ezreal's at uh, four out of eight for level up. Swain five out of twelve.
Chronicler of Ruin is amazing with Anivia. It is a that is an amazing combo. Kind of wonder why they would just let me hit them with Ezreal and get a Mystic shot and then do that instead of just killing that thing right away. Swain's 9 out of 12, so this first three will level up Swain. Um, I, don't, I don't think that there's any difference between what decks I would recommend for Gauntlet besides what, what you recommend for Ranked. It's like... It, you know, or just like normal play. So like, if, if you have any deck that you like, like in ranked, I mean, just play it in the gauntlet. I, I, there's there's no difference with this gauntlet. It's just normal, um, you know, just normal gameplay. It's looking like it's going to be another two and two. We're going to have to really steal this game. Also, like we stole the second game. Alright, I, I have a plan here. This plan will likely not work, but my plan is to hit them with Swain this turn. That's my plan. Gonna kill this Braum. Braum doesn't kill my Swain. This is our time. Yeah, I don't want Leviathan to take any damage. I didn't attack with it. I mean, they can't no, because we're we're stunning the Anivias. Um, they're willing to just pass the turn to me. Does that mean they want me to play more things and they're gonna ruination? Do I just untap? 
sure if I really beat Ruination too much anyway. No, I'm definitely not open open attacking. I mean, I'm not attacking with Swain at all into this. Um, So I can go Ravenous Flock, kill the 3-2, attack them for 10. Yeah, I mean, I could attack the 4-4. Four, four. I'm, going, I'm going more for killing them right now. wins a Nivea's champion spell well, that's unfortunate I mean, that means if they just attack I lose Harsh winds. Yeah, game. I can't make a block to stay alive. Go to zero. Okay, so another two and two. The the Swain part of our deck was awesome. I'm just super I'm just super skeptical about Ezreal just just in general. Ezreal never did it a single thing for us in four games. I'm just really really skeptical about that card, but um, you know just having like a bunch of damage and removal and Swain and Leviathan. And Sumpwork's map for Swain and Leviathan. Uh, that's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I feel like this deck maybe would be better with like Vi, or I don't know some, something else. I just I just not not really convinced on Ezreal. Um, we used the Fiora alone deck yesterday. Got the seven wins. We did four gauntlets yesterday. We. We got to the final boss with both of them and lost one time to the final boss, beat the final boss second time, and then today. As you can tell, we went two and two with our two gauntlets. Um, no, this isn't a Teemo deck. Sorry, no, no, this isn't a Teemo deck. Could definitely be a Heimerdinger deck and make a bunch of turrets and stuff. Like, Heimerdinger's amazing. Could definitely be a Heimerdinger deck. I mean, Brom, Brom's not in these, these regions. Can't can't play Brom in these regions. Uh, it's the main feature or addition you would love to have added to this game. 
Um, in client uh, tournaments, even even if not tournaments, but just kind of like these gauntlet things, but I don't know, just like more at stake. Like like maybe you have an entry fee, but like you pay sh how many shards to enter, and then you can win a bunch of shards, or maybe even win gold, um, like that kind of stuff. Which or just like in client, like even like sixteen person tournaments that are like single elimination kind of thing. You know, it's more competitive stuff like that. Uh, but they did, you know, they said that they were developing tournaments. Like that's that's part of like their their plan for later in the year. All right, but that's um, Ezreal Swain. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, feel free to leave those comments um, as well. Let me know what you think of Ezreal and like Ezreal in this deck. Like, am I am I wrong? Is Ezreal really good? You having a lot of success with the card? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Leave those comments over on YouTube. But anyway, uh, that's it here for Ezreal Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.